Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BJ Tech News, and welcome to another exciting part on my SCCM 2007 quest for success. So, uh, I've been working a lot with SCCM 2007 for a client, and I've been pushing out all these videos for you guys. As you can see right here at the lower right hand of my screen, i broken down all the parts that I've done, and today is basically update SCCM 2007 to R3 with a hot fix that you really need to push out to get the option to pixie boot unknown computers. So let's get started. So I'm gonna bring up my virtual machine. I already hooked up my CD that I need to install my R3. Now, I know this is gonna fail, but I wanna show you guys what you probably gonna see or you know what I saw at the very beginning. So when you click on this, you said, oh, booyah. Microsoft System Configuration Manager 2007 R3 requires Configuration Manager 2007 RFE KB977 blah 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 blah. You need this hotfix to even continue with the upgrade. So I actually have the hotfix. Now the hotfix took me a while to retrieve because Microsoft was acting a pain in the butt to give it to me. The site wasn't working to retrieve it. So if you guys do need this hotfix, hey, shoot me a comment below of this video and I will uh, drop it in my Dropbox public folder and provide you guys the link so you guys can download it. Okay, so I'm going to double click on that, continue, uh, you know, I'm just going to see if I could drop it in here. I don't want to drop anything in my C drive and press OK. There you go. And we're going to double click on that. Hit next, next, install. Okay, so uh, what you want to do is yes, you do want to create a package and a program now. Hit next, hit next, hit next, and hit next. A lot of next, 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 guys. Ooh, so that's finished. We're going to hit finish. All right, and I'm going to go back into the CD and I want to do an install and run because we do want to run that R3 upgrade. Hit configure. Looks like it's doing good. Excellent stuff. Hit next. I do accept the license. Let's go back. And uh, these are the following features that will be installed during the setup Power Management, Active Directory, Delta Discovery, Dynamic Collection, Eval, Pre Stage Media for Operating System Deployment, and all other good features. So we're going to hit next. I accept. Hit next. Um, organization uh, BJ Tech News Productions. Uh, hit next and we're gonna hit next and it's gonna do its thing and it's completed that was pretty fast which is awesome we're gonna hit finish okay so most likely you could do a reboot but I'm not gonna do a reboot and I'm going to double click on my config manager console and cross the fingers we're gonna go inside our pixie row properties and check if that third option which I mentioned on the last part of this uh, web series is there. So we're going to go into site management, go here, site settings, site systems, expand that, and we're going to right click on the Pixie service row. And there you go, guys. Remember on part four, I did not have this option. So this is the, the upgrade of R3 plus that KB update that you guys need. This is the only way that you can get this. Now, on part uh, six, I'm going to show you guys how to get your collection up and running to advertise the task sequence that we created in part three, I believe. Advertise that task sequence to the unknown collection, which I'm going to show you guys right now what I mean. So, if we go to computer management collections, there's an unknown computer collection with 86 and 64 we actually got to get your task sequence the ones that we created on the last episode and push it out to these containers and I'm going to create a virtual machine pixie boot it show you guys how that looks and we're good to go guys hopefully you guys enjoy this video please Twitter please Facebook it please like it comment subscribe and I catch you guys later peace out